In part A of this example, we will factor 10a squared minus 17a plus 3. Before starting, check for common factors. There are no common factors in this trinomial. The coefficient of the a squared term is 10, so we can't use the shortcut. We will use the decomposition method to factor this. In step 1, we will get two numbers of the product of a times c and a sum of b. The product of a and c is 30. b is minus 17. The first numbers we'll try are minus 6 and minus 5. These numbers have a sum of minus 11. These numbers don't work since we need a sum of minus 17. Next we'll try minus 10 and minus 3. The sum of these numbers is minus 13. They don't work either. Next we'll try minus 15 and minus 2. The sum is minus 17. These numbers work since the product is 30 and the sum is minus 17. Let's store the numbers in a sentence so we can retrieve them later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. Minus 17 is the same as minus 15 minus 2. Minus 15 times a is minus 15a. Minus 2 times a is minus 2a. The four-term polynomial is 10a squared minus 15a minus 2a plus 3. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two. Ten a squared is the same as two a times five a. Minus fifteen a is the same as minus three times five a. Factor out the five a to get five a times two a minus three. We need to pull a negative out of the second set. Do this by breaking down each term so minus 1 is a factor. Minus 2a is the same as minus 1 times 2a. Three is the same as minus 1 times minus 3. Factor out minus 1 to get minus 1 times 2a minus 3. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial. Two a minus three is common to each term, so factor it out. Collect what's remaining in brackets. The factors are two a minus three and five a minus one. In part b, we'll factor 24x squared minus 72x plus 54. 
Before starting, check for common factors. Twenty four x squared minus seventy two x plus fifty four has six as a common factor. Let's bring down the trinomial so we can factor it. Twenty four x squared is the same as six times four x squared. Minus 72x is the same as minus 6 times 12x. Fifty-four is the same as six times nine. Factor out the six. This gives six times four x squared minus twelve x plus nine. We won't be using the six for a while, so let's put it in holding. Our task now is to factor 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Step 1 is to get two numbers with a product of a times c and a sum of b. a times c is 36. b is minus 12. The first pair of numbers we'll try is minus 9 and minus 4. Their sum is minus 13. This doesn't work since we need a sum of minus 12. Next we'll try minus 6 and minus 6. Their sum is minus 12. This works since the two numbers have a product of 36 and a sum of minus 12. Let's store the numbers in a sentence so we can retrieve them later. We can't use a shortcut here since the x squared coefficient is not 1. Factor with decomposition. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. Minus 12 is the same as minus 6 minus 6. Minus 6 times x is minus 6x. Minus 6 times x is minus 6x. The four-term polynomial is 4x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 9. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two terms. Four x squared is two x times two x. Minus six x is minus three times two x. Factor out two x to get two x times two x minus three. We need to pull a negative out of the second set. Do this by breaking down each term so minus 3 is a factor. Minus 6x is the same as minus 3 times 2x. Nine is the same as minus 3 times minus 3. Factor out minus 3 to get minus 3 times 2x minus 3. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial. 2x minus 3 is common to each term, so factor it out.
Collect what's remaining in a set of brackets. Condense this to 2x minus 3 squared. Remember to bring back the 6 we put into holding earlier. The answer is 6 times 2x minus 3 squared.